Welcome all to another session here of 2Z Talks. Today, we're going to be doing some tree diagramming practice. I know there are a lot of you out there trying to learn and get a grasp of uh, what's going on in uh, uh, linguistics and syntax. And so today, I'm just begin a series of just doing some practice sessions just so that you can get a kind of a feel for how this works. Now, there are a couple of things that you should know that uh, why, the way that I'm going to be doing the tree diagramming is not etched in stone. Uh, different people uh, design and set up tree diagrams a little bit differently. The primary things that you need to remember here are how to be able to defend what you're setting up. Um, you may have a, you may have a, a professor or a company that decides they're going to do it a different way, and that's fine. And you do it the way that they do it. This is the way that I'm going to be setting it up, and it's a lot of this information may come out of your your standard uh, syntax books like uh, the grammar book um, or other types of books like that. Let's just jump over here now. I'm going to show you. There's a little um, page that I have here. I'm just going to start working on this little example that I have right here. Now, you set up a system like this. Main thing that you're going to want to do is try to find out where the verb is because you're going to set it up here where you're going to have put up a big S up here at the top, right? And that's, that's going to be your, your sentence. And then, but as you do this, you're going to be looking now, where is the main verb? And that's where you're going to try to split things up. As I look here, here's my main verb. And this is really only one verb that's listed here. So what I'm going to do is first thing I'm going to do on a regular tree, you're going to break things out here. You're going to have a noun phrase and you're going to have a verb phrase. Now bear in mind that your verb phrase here, which is what I call it a verb phrase, other systems will call it maybe a predicate, which is the second half of the sentence, which this verb phrase will be. Uh, but regardless, uh, you're going to break things off here and then you're going to have to come back all the way over here because you're going to have to put in your main verb, which is what I would call this. This is a main verb phrase. And then on this side, as we're looking at it, this is going to be just your noun phrase. And your noun phrase only includes a noun. Uh, actually, I should probably put this up here. Only includes a noun, and that's it. That's You're done with this. Your main verb phrase, I'm going to break down again. And uh, that's going to include your main verb. And uh, that's, just, that's just the word ordered. Now, this structure right here, verb phrase, main verb phrase, main verb, is always going to be in every sentence. Uh, you may have other parts that are connected to it, but it's always going to be that way. So remember, as you do this, you're always going to have that. Green eggs and ham. Well, that's a noun. So off of here, I'm going to try to put... I'm going to try to be at the same level here. I'm going to put another noun phrase. So a, no a verb phrase can include a noun phrase. And this noun phrase has green eggs, I'm sorry, green eggs and ham. I have a, uh, an adjective listed here. And I have um, a noun. And I have a conjunction. And another noun. Okay, and they all go together here. So we've got these all coming down here right okay and then the last one here is for breakfast okay and uh you've got to ask yourself whenever you see a preposition and this is a preposition right here you got to ask yourself what is its form and what is its function okay so uh it's a uh, form is a preposition okay so that's going to be easy to find out okay but what's its function what's it doing here it's describing something is it describing the verb or is it describing the noun? Okay, so the noun here would be green eggs and ham. Is this going to be, is for breakfast describing it? No. So it's going to be describing the verb. Okay, what did you order? Okay, ordered what? Uh, why did you order? I'm sorry, that would be the answer. Why did you order? Describing order. So here I'm going to put in an adverb phrase. Okay, and right below that I'll put in a preposition. And the prepositional phrase, of course, has a preposition and a noun phrase, okay? This construction you will often have, okay? You find a preposition, you got to ask, what's it being used for, okay? Is it a prepositional phrase that's an adjective, or is it a prepositional phrase that's an adverb? Once you know that, then you can put in your next point here, your adverb phrase. Adverb phrase, which is also a preposition, right? Form and function, and then I can break down the preposition. Okay, so for is going to be this, and your noun phrase is going to be a noun, which equals breakfast. Okay, and that's the first one. We'll move on to the next one right now. All right, now the next one that we're going to be working on here is this one right here. 
Again, we want to do the same type of thing. We want to find the main verb, and then we want to try to break it down properly. All right, so here's your main verb, will bring. Actually, the main verb is bring, but we'll start there, okay? You're going to come up here, and you're going to put your little S in for a sentence. Here's your main verb, so you know when you go to put in your verb phrase, you're going to come all the way over. Let's start with the noun phrase. And it's just one word, right? So that's just a noun, and we're all the way down. That's done. Piece of cake. Let's move on to the next one. You're always going to have a verb phrase. Any type of construction that you have, you're always going to have at least those two things, noun phrase and a verb phrase. They're always at the top tier. Always going to have a main verb phrase. So let's come on over here and put in a main verb phrase. Now, this main verb phrase has actually now two parts. It's got an auxiliary... Okay, which is, an, we'll call this an A-U-X, and we have your main verb. Main verb is bring, the auxiliary is will. Okay, so now we've broken down the verb. This is your standard construction. In the main verb, you're always going to have the main verb. In the auxiliary, you're going to have things like um, a modal, like will, or may, might, can, could, would, should, all those are auxiliaries. You might have um, part of the the uh, progressive, you know, be going, uh, am swimming. So you're gonna have that be verb like am, and you may have um, you may have have as another as another one. Okay, you're gonna have negative in here too. A variety of things that you can put in the auxiliary. You're gonna have these two things, but this construction here is always gonna be the same. Always gonna have those three those uh, pieces together here. Okay, the next thing we have under our verb phrase is a snowstorm. Okay. Well, that's going to be a what? That's a noun phrase. So we've got a noun phrase. And this noun phrase is now broken down into a determiner, an adjective, right, and a noun. And the determiner is a, and then snow, and then the noun is storm. All right, last thing here is into the region. Into is a preposition. Again, you're going to ask yourself, what's its form and function? Now I'm going to have something coming off here, okay? But what's it doing? Into the storm, I'm sorry, into the region is describing a storm. Or is it describing what is being brought? Okay, is the storm being brought into the region? Or is it the that, that into the region is describing where it's going to be brought? I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, this is more likely going to be describing where or or how it's being done. So I'm going to call this an adject, adverb clause. Uh, I'm going to call it, I'm sorry, an adverb phrase. Now someone might say it's describing storm. It's describing what kind of storm, you know, uh, uh, you know, the location of the storm. And they might say this is an adjective phrase. I'm, not, I'm going to disagree with them, but that's neither here nor there. This is now its form. Its form is a prepositional phrase. Its function is um, adverbial, describing the verb. Of course, we have a prepositional phrase that's always broken down the same way, preposition, and a noun phrase. Noun phrase is broken down into a determiner and a noun. And there we go again. That one was done fairly well, right? Okay, let's go on to the next one, see if we can get this one done too. This one here begins with the title, Jennifer is going to Florida in February. Again, we're going to look at it the same way. We're going to look at the, put the big S here up at the top. And we're looking for the main verb. That's how we're going to break it down. Well, here it is. Is going. Okay. So, since that's the main verb, let's now break everything down properly. First thing we do is here we put in a noun phrase. Of course, the other one we put in is a verb phrase. Now, the verb phrase, I need the main verb here. So, I'm going to come all the way over here, put in my main verb phrase. Uh, and then, what's in here? I've got an auxiliary and a main verb. The uh, auxiliary uh, is the be verb, right? Which is is, and then the main verb. Okay, you see the be verb here. The be verb construction is always be plus ing. Always the way the construction runs. And that's what we have here. Your noun phrase, of course, is just one word. It's just a noun. Okay? Now, to Florida in February. I got two prepositional phrases here, and what do they do? Okay, their form is prepositional phrase. Their function is going, where going, to Florida, when going, in February. I got two adverbial phrases here. 
So I can put an adverbial phrase, another adverbial phrase. Okay, and these are both prepositions, right? And the prepositions are broken down to a preposition and a noun phrase. This one has to and then Florida, and this one has, um, what do we have here? This one has in and then uh, your noun phrase, which is February. Piece of cake, right? You see how it's broken down. Easiest thing to do is to begin by lacking where the main verb is so that you can break things down properly. Okay, let's jump on to another one. Okay, now the next one that we're going to do here is this uh, sentence here. Uh, we are not going to this restaurant ever again. Uh, you might have had such a frustration when you were uh, at a restaurant. Here we go. Let's uh, begin by just saying we're going to break down here. We're going to start with our S here. And uh, then we're going to look for our main verb again. Here's our main verb, are not going. All right, there's your main verb. So you know that's where I'm going to have to try to put my main verb phrase is right here. Okay, I'll put out here, I'm going to put in my uh, noun phrase, my subject here, and the N. It's going to be we. I'm going to put out my verb phrase. So I'm going to balance here. And you've got a verb phrase. I'm going to bring this all the way over here so that I can get a main verb phrase, which is going to break down into two things the AUX and the main verb. Again, what's in the auxiliary here is we've got the B verb and we have the negative, right? Uh, that's going to be in here. And then, of course, we have the main verb, go. And as I have said before here, we've got B plus the ING, right? That's that construction here to let you know it's progressive timing. All right, you don't need to put that in there, but all right, to this restaurant. That's where they're going. Okay, that's where they're going. I guess this is going to be describing the, uh, the restaurant, right? So again, we look at the two questions that we ask, form and function. Well, its function is describing the verb, so it's going to be an adverb clause. Got an adverb, I'm sorry, an adverb phrase. Notice it's a P here at the end. That's its function. Its form is a prepositional phrase. Again, prepositional phrase always has a preposition and a noun phrase. In this case, your preposition is to, and your noun phrase is the determiner this, and then restaurant, which is a noun. Okay. Ever again. Okay, ever again is an adverb phrase again. Okay, and this is actually just an adverb. Adverb phrase, which has an intensifier. Um... Okay, or you could call it a, quantify, a qualifier if you wanted to, and then just an adverb. Okay, and that's the end of that one. And that's how that breaks down. Okay, I do hope that you're beginning to see a pattern here. I want to have a whole bunch of these for you guys to look and see and try to understand what's going on here. All right, let's look at this next one here. The girl behind the counter is beautiful. And uh, okay, so we're going to begin with a big old S here at the top. Okay, and we start there with a, a, a sentence, and we've got the main verb right here, uh, is. That's your main verb. So it's interesting. This one's over here pretty far. So when I do my noun phrase, okay, noun phrase is going to have a variety of things in it. It's going to have a noun phrase, okay, with your uh, determiner and your noun and it's also going to have a prepositional phrase behind the counter. Now this is describing the girl. So this is its function is adjectival, ad adjective. So it's an adjective phrase, but it's a prepositional phrase. And the preposition, of course, is behind. And the noun phrase has two parts, a determiner and a noun. Okay? So we got a noun phrase here that also includes an adjective phrase, all right? Now your main verb is here, so from over here we're going to add verb phrase. And your verb phrase is going to break down here, main verb phrase, okay, which is just a main verb. This is a linking verb. Uh, notice that this column right here, you know, sometimes it's over here. Sometimes it's over here. You know, it depends on where that verb is. And that's why you want to begin by figuring out where do I put these? Because it's going to matter when you go to put in your, your verb tree. 
Okay, is, and then the last one here is beautiful, and beautiful, of course, is describing the girl, so this is an adjective phrase, and this adjective phrase simply has an adjective in it, and that's beautiful. Okay, and that's that sentence. Very good. Let's move on to the next one here, shall we? Yay! Some people work in the office on the second floor. Okay, where's the main verb? That's what we're always looking for first. There it is, work. Okay, so we know that all this from here over is all going to uh, belong on that second side. All right, let's begin by putting our, our sentence in here. Okay, and we uh, slide over here and we do our noun phrase. And your noun phrase has... Uh, I'm going to call it a determiner, although some would uh, call it, uh, well, I think everybody would call it a determiner. And we've got a noun here, okay, that's some people, okay? Next thing we have is your verb phrase, okay, and your main verb, okay, is way over here, so we're going to bring this all the way over here and get your main verb phrase. There are no other parts except the main verb, so that's that, done. Okay, some people work. Where do they work? In the office, on the second floor. Again, I've got two adverbial phrases. That's their form. Uh, I'm sorry, that's their function. What's their form? You can tell by this. Prepositional phrases. Okay, so we got two prepositional phrases that are adverb phrases. All right, so let's move this one over here. We'll call this adverb phrase. And the adverb phrase is its function. Its form is a preposition. All prepositions have preposition and a noun phrase. This preposition is in. The noun phrase here has a determiner and a noun. Okay, In the office. Here's another prepositional phrase. Uh, uh, adverbial phrase. So let's pull another adverb phrase out here. Adverb phrase. And we have a prepositional phrase here. And the preposition, of course, is a preposition with a noun phrase. And the noun phrase has a determiner and an adjective and a noun just a noun there we go and there's your preposition you see all that fits together very nicely uh in the in the sentence here okay let's move on to the next one shall we we're going to put our s here at the top and start our sentence off and over here, normally I would put in a noun phrase, but I'm not going to do that this time because of this little thing down here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a verb phrase here. And the verb phrase here I have after lunch. i got to put something in for that. Now, I have the children, so that I'll put right here. I'll make this a noun phrase. And uh, the noun phrase here has a determiner and a noun. So we'll put those two in, the children. Okay, go and play. Well, there's another verb phrase. And so we'll put a verb phrase out here. And this is your main verb. And since that's your main verb, I'm going to just come over here and make that construction. Main verb phrase. Okay, and then main verb. Now, I could, if I wanted to, do main verb, conjunction, main verb. And since I have just all of them together here, I'm just going to do this type of little construction. And say, okay, this is all the same thing. All right? And uh, we'll be done with that. Okay, now I have in the park. What is that describing? Oh, well, that's describing where they went, where they played. So it's describing the main verb. So I'm going to call this an adverb phrase. And of course, its form is prepositional phrase, right? And I know that because I've got a preposition in and I have a noun phrase, the, the park. So I've got a noun phrase here. Your noun phrase includes your determiner and your noun. Okay, now, what about this one here at the beginning? What is this? Well, I know it's a preposition. That's its form. What's it doing? It's describing when they went and played. Okay, so it's describing the verb again. So this is also going to be an adverb phrase, which is a preposition, which includes a preposition and a noun phrase, right? Noun phrase is just a noun, lunch, and after. You see how that sets up there rather nicely, okay? This is an odd construction, again, because you've got a verb phrase that's first, and the reason why is because this is fronted, 
Okay, because this is fronted, I've got to set up that different construction. Okay, let's go look at one more today and then we'll be done, all right? Here's the last one that we'll look at. On rainy days, they play inside the gym. <clears throat> Doing it again here, on rainy days. That's a preposition, right? On. Well, that's a preposition. Well, here's your main subject, right? There's your main subject. Here's your main verb. Now I can break down <clears throat> how this is going to look here, okay? So let's begin by putting in our, our main sentence here. Uh, let's try that again. There we go. Main sentence. And uh, then we're going to come over here. We're going to have a verb phrase because this verb phrase is going to describe something here, right? I'm going to have a noun phrase here, which is they, just a noun, right? They. I'm going to have a verb phrase over here. And the verb phrase is going to be just one thing, main verb phrase. It's all it is. It's just a main verb. There's nothing else. Inside the gym, describing where they play. So this is describing the verb. What describes a verb? You guessed it. It's an adverb phrase, and its form is a prepositional phrase. So it's a preposition and a noun phrase. And this preposition is inside. The noun phrase is a determiner, the, and the noun, gym. Okay, now what's this thing up front here? On rainy days, that's describing when they play. Okay, again, it's describing the verb. So this is an adverb phrase, another adverb phrase here, which is actually a preposition that has a preposition and a noun phrase. And the noun phrase has an adjective, rainy, and a noun. We got preposition, rainy, as an adjective, and noun. Okay. I want to thank you all for slipping by here. I hope some of this has helped. I hope uh, that some of these uh, constructions are going to help you. I'm going to be building some more of these so you can come and take a look. If you have questions or concerns, shoot me an email down below, and I will be glad to try to help you out. Thanks for stopping by, and keep building those trees. Bye-bye now.